Hi everyone, welcome to the Sexy Chef Cooking Hangout. I'm Chef Barney Alejandro Rennebeck, and this is my super sexy sister assistant. <laughs> I'm Rachel Alejandro, and I'm going to be her dakilang assistant he, uh, here in our cooking hangout today. Of course, thank you so much for joining us, all of you out there who are um, watching on Rappler.com. Uh, it's going to be a super fun afternoon because Barney, Chef Barney, and I will be showing you how to make really, really easy uh, easy to make healthy recipes that anyone, I mean, even a dummy can do. Yep. Okay, so um, the recipes are going to be, are actually um, featured on our cookbook, mm -hmm. which is Ooh. somewhere. Somewhere here. But <laughs> also on our, co in our, uh, on our cooking show, our brand new cooking show on uh, the Colors Channel of Signal Digital TV. So if you're a subscriber of uh, Signal Digital TV, you're in luck because you can watch us every Sunday at 8 p.m. on the Colors Channel. That's called yes. The Sexy Chef. So Barney, what, are, what do we have in store for everyone today? Well, we're gonna make three um, super easy, healthy recipes. So first, we're actually gonna make a breakfast smoothie followed by a no-cook, um, um, actually, we're gonna make the cauliflower rice mm -hmm. afterwards, and then we're gonna make a no-cook healthy sandwich called the tofu egg tea sandwiches. So in fact, this afternoon, we're only really going to cook one recipe. The, one is a smoothie and one is a no-cook recipe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you guys have any questions at all about the cooking procedure or any of the, the ingredients, how to get some of these ingredients, although we promise none of these ingredients are hard to find. Yeah, they're all um, local ingredients. That's we try right. to stick to local. That's right. Yeah. So we're excited if you guys are ready. For those of you out there who are wanting to cook with us, mm -hmm. get ready because we're just about to start. Yep. Okay, so should we um, name all the ingredients for the yeah, first the recipe? Yeah, first, the first recipe is The called... breakfast green smoothie. So this is perfect for people who are always rushing out the door early mm -hmm. in the morning, such as myself. I'm a busy mom, and when I wake up in the morning, you know, the last thing I want to do is like prepare and chop ingredients and cook that's right. something that's really complicated. Um, and I'm not even hungry first thing in the morning. Yeah, so well, I, I am. <laughs> So I really have to eat something to get myself started for the day. Mm -hmm. And this is something that's super easy to make and will, you know, because breakfast is the most important meal of the day because it jump starts your metabolism mm -hmm. for the day. Because actually when you sleep the night before, you're, you're actually fasting for eight or more hours because you're not eating. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up and you don't eat, your body thinks you're starving it. And so, it's going to store fat instead of Yeah, and fat. it's all going to go... That's right. Right there, which and we do not want. Some people think that, oh, I'm on a diet, I'm going to skip breakfast. That's the worst possible thing that you can do. So let's yes. get it started. So okay. which is the first thing that's going to get thrown into our well, blender here? Well, first we have one cup of um, coconut water, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we have half a cup of plain yogurt, preferably low fat. Mm -hmm. And then I have two teaspoons of chia seeds, one banana, half a cup of spinach leaves, half a cup of romaine lettuce, one cup of ice, and three tablespoons of coconut sugar, and two tablespoons of rolled oats. So that's all you need. I mean, mm -hmm. this is stuff that you might have already in your fridge. Right, except maybe for the chia seeds. That may not be so familiar with with, with most people mm -hmm. because you can get that at a health food store. Or and like again, an online you, grocery too. One oh, of those yeah, healthy yeah, online that's grocery right. and they'll deliver it to your to your place as again, well. Again, if you have any questions for us, just tweet us at uh, rappler.com. So and then we'll we'll do our best to uh, answer all of your questions as we prepare the meals today. Okay, so are you ready to yeah, start? Yeah, no, let's All do right, it. Alright, let's do it. So first, we're going to throw in the liquids first because you want to like make, give your blender an easier time so yeah. it doesn't like get stuck. Get stuck. Yeah. So over here, we're going to throw in one cup of coconut water. Mm -hmm. So coconut water is super high in potassium. So if mm -hmm. you're hungover, it's, which happens sometimes. This is a great smoothie <laughs> for people that are hungover. Yeah, so, you know, it, it has a lot of natural electrolytes. That's why they mm -hmm. call coconut water nature's Gatorade. Gatorade. Yeah, right. and it just naturally replenishes all the, all the, um, Hydration mm -hmm. that you've lost, maybe. Yeah, during like exercise, a night, yeah, exercise or, or a night, night out. out of having too much fun. Yeah. So this is really great. And one thing you might not know about coconut water is that it actually also suppresses the appetite. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So perfect for dieters out there and Weight Watchers as well. So then we're gonna add half a cup of yogurt, and of course, yogurt has all those. Um, 
probiotics. It's really good for the digestive mm -hmm. system. It's probably most known for the calcium content. Mm -hmm. And, and course, vitamin D. Right, and well. of course, calcium is good for the bones and also good for uh, preventing the storage, storage of, of fat. fat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add the, the greens. I'm going to add half a cup mm -hmm. of spinach leaves. If you don't have spinach leaves, you can use kong kong. But I love spinach because it's like a powerhouse vegetable. It's super high in like vitamin C, mm -hmm. actually more than oranges, I think. Yes. And then, of course, very high in fiber, vitamin K. It just has all these nutrients that you need you know, to give right. you energy throughout the day. Yeah, super cancer-fighting vegetable. Um, again, you can use either, like what she said, kang kong. Another good vegetable that you can use is malunggay. Yeah, malunggay. Which is one of our most favorite ingredients in most of the meals delivered by the sexy chef. You and can the next even one? use like mustard, like mm -hmm. mustasa, any like local green vegetable that you mm -hmm. have. This one, you told me earlier why uh, romaine lettuce is a good ingredient for smoothies. Okay, especially if you're a newbie to smoothies, um, romaine lettuce is a good choice because it actually has a very mild flavor. Mm. So if you're really not into vegetables... Yeah, you know, like I mentioned earlier, yung lasang dahon, you know, sometimes people don't like that very green, you yeah. know, it's like... Ah. So especially so, like with my husband who doesn't mm. like vegetables, he'll drink this because the romaine takes on the flavor of the fruits that you're going to put inside this smoothie. It's very like neutral. Very flavor. neutral. So if you're going to have something that's bitter like malunggay or mm. mustasa, you can balance it off by combining it with romaine. And yeah. romaine is super high in protein mm -hmm. and calcium and iron. So it's not just great for salads, it's mm -hmm. great as a smoothie as well. Right. Okay, and then we're just going to give it a whirl. Mm -hmm. Look like it's gonna be good, but I promise it's it's really yummy. You guys try this at home, and you'll be surprised at how yummy the smoothie is. Okay. Because that's really what the sexy chef is all about. We started our company um, ten years ago, believe it or not. It's our tenth year anniversary this year, and we only started delivering the South Beach diet program to people like actually initially 10 people mm -hmm. right and then eventually we graduated to delivering diet different diet programs healthy meals to people all over metro manila and our goal has always been the same to prove or actually to dispel the miscommunication uh, the misconception that healthy food is yucky yeah. or that el healthy food like has to take by yeah it has to yeah. be tasteless bland expensive and hard to make and mm -hmm. all those things throughout the years in the past 10, ten years I think because of, of our sexy chef cookbook Ayan here it is there we go. thank you so much Olive all right this cookbook is what we what we um it's our best-selling cookbook right now called the sexy chef cookbook and most of these recipes are are, are in, in here actually yeah. so you there know. are also tips and um, secret um, techniques on how you can make um, healthy food mm -hmm. um, super yummy that's right so, there. so this smoothie is actually in here yeah somewhere. so I put um, one banana inside mm -hmm. over there and then I'm going to sweeten it with the three tablespoons of coconut sugar mm -hmm. coconut sugar is actually low glycemic meaning it doesn't make your blood sugar spike up Good for diabetics. Fast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you're dieting as well, um, when your blood sugar spikes up and then it crashes, it actually um, creates hunger pangs. So mm -hmm. that's why you're always craving for junk food. Yeah, but, but if you, you, want, keep... you want more sweets or more, you know, you're always wanting some more food even before exactly. you should be eating again. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, this kind of makes your blood sugar stable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to add the two tablespoons of rolled oats. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, some of you are probably used to having oatmeal in the morning, so might as well just throw it in there also. Yeah. So, oats are very high in fiber. It keeps you um, full for a long period of time. And it's good for people that have heart, to prevent heart disease or people that are already having hyper, have hypertension. It's great because it really lowers uh, bl that, the blood yeah. pressure. And blood lower, bad cholesterol right. as well. So, we're going to give this another buzz. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend this, this is like an avocado shake. <laughs> I love avocado shake. It's just so, so fattening. Okay, now that everything mm. is like nice and incorporated, yeah. we're going to add the one cup of ice. Mm -hmm. you know, Are we I'll going to put the... Yes, we're going to add it last. Because last. actually, okay. the chia seeds, it gets like gelatinous. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. So anyway, if there are any um, more questions, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, there we actually, go. There's we actually, have, actually there's one. one. Um, thank you for this question, Rainy or Rani Katimbang. Um, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention. If you want to send in your your, your questions to a Twitter, um, please use the the hashtag the uh, hashtag the sexy, sexy chef. So the question goes. What can we use if we don't have? There you go. Oh, if there you don't you have go. chia seeds. Okay. Perfect. If you don't have chia seeds, mm. you can just like just take it out of the recipe. You could also use flax seeds as well, mm -hmm. but you don't need it to, for it to taste no. good. It's yeah. not going to change the flavor of the of the smoothie. Right. So but you we, can get rid of it completely. It's just that it's an extra nutrient punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you kind of mm. want it because chia seeds are super high in omega-3 fatty acids. It actually mm. contains more omega-3s than salmon. Than salmon, believe it or not. Yeah, because yeah. you only think, when you think omega-3 fatty acids, you think fish. But mm. actually, this miracle food is called a superfood. It's it's the the biggest buzzword right now when it comes to health food. Yeah. Um, and you can find it at any health food store. Um, okay. So there. But again, you don't need it. If, yeah. You know, it doesn't if you don't have it, it's fine. Because you have all mm -hmm. these like nutrient nutrient dense um, ingredients already. Right. Okay. So we added the two teaspoons of chia seeds, mm -hmm. and then we're going to. So what happens if you put the chia seeds in with everything else? Is it gonna get too, like? With my experience be, with chia seeds, uh -huh. sometimes it turns into this gelatinous um, mm -hmm. consistency. I kind of, it actually makes the shake really thick. Right. So actually, you only need a little. Yeah. So if you, you want to put too much, it it's going to be like so thick. Right. Yeah. Parang magiging parang sago. Sago. Sago gulaman. Shake. So that took. Very, I mean, yep. it was less than 10 minutes. Mm. And now we're going to pour it, it into It took longer because we were just yapping, yapping, yapping. Mason jars. Mm. I love these mason jars. Yeah, they're so cute. Yeah. And then, you know, what's best about mason jars is it comes with a lid. Mm -hmm. So you can just screw it on, on your way out. And then you can bring your healthy breakfast with you to work. Right. There you go. So this recipe is good for two. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it. well, for me, I, I can finish this whole thing. You know, so... There you go. And then I'm just going to put my colorful straws in there. Why don't you mm. give it a taste? All right. And let me know what you think. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's yummy. Mm. Yum, yum. Perfect. Very refreshing. Perfect for the, well, it's not summer anymore, but it's still pretty hot. Mm -hmm. So, if you so, want something really nice and refreshing in the morning, this is the way to go. Do you taste the spinach at all? No, no, no. Not at all. It just tastes like a banana milkshake. It just looks green, but it doesn't taste green. Mm. All right, so we're going to recap oh. the, the ingredients, B. Yes. So what we put inside are, um, we had the spinach, the half a cup of spinach, mm -hmm. the half a cup of romaine lettuce. We had the three tablespoons of coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. We had the two teaspoons of chia seeds. We had the one cup of ice, and we had that one banana. I hope I'm not missing out anything in that um, in the ingredients. Yeah, so. wow. How do you store all of that information? I, I know. Can, when there are numbers involved, it just okay. just so completely okay, so disappears from my brain. Okay, we're good. We're, yeah. So all right, so we're going to go on to our next recipe. This time, we're going to cook this one. Yes. Okay, so we're going to exchange. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be here. Okay, so for our next recipe, we're going to make the Indonesian um, Kali fried rice. Okay, so how did I come up with this mm. recipe? So, my katakawan is the <laughs> reason why I came up with this recipe. I actually went to Bali, Indonesia, and I got obsessed with searching for the best nasi goreng, which is the Indonesian fried rice. Yep, it's the most famous Indonesian dish and it's got lots and lots of rice in there. Yeah, lots of rice. It, it, it's like this big and mm -hmm. I would finish it all to myself. Mm -hmm. It would have chicken, it would have shrimp and An each, egg. each yeah. place has its own version. Right, so you have to try it at every, everywhere you go. Yeah, so I had it for lunch and dinner every single day during the trip. And I know I walked sometimes no, during mm -hmm. the trip but it wasn't enough to burn those calories so I ended up coming home with a muffin top mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had a big chan because of all of all the rice that I ate so yeah. I decided to create a low-carb version mm -hmm. of this recipe so instead of rice 
I'm actually gonna use cauliflower. Yeah. Instead. So for all of you low carb fan, low carb diet fans out there, especially those who love to do the South Beach diet, it's 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 very effective for for many people because it just makes you lose weight very very fast. And this is mm -hmm. something that you can make for the whole family, and they won't even know that, that you've gone low carb. Yeah. Okay. Actually, one of our readers from the Sexy Chef Cookbook posted a mm -hmm. photo of this dish that they made, and their kids absolutely loved it. It's a great way to get your kids to eat cauliflower in their diet. Yeah, because if you tell them, oh, we have vegetables, cauliflower, they may not want to eat it. So just don't tell them about it. Okay, okay so our ingredients. All right. So over here, I have, we have lots of friends mm -hmm. coming over. I know. Oh, hello. Shoe fly, don't bother me. So I have about 12 pieces of shrimp. You mm -hmm. can use medium-sized shrimp that I've already peeled. Mm -hmm. And then one-fourth cup of cilantro, half a cup of chopped carrots. We have three tablespoons of soy sauce one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic, and I have half a tablespoon of coconut sugar, and we have one-fourth cup of chopped onion, mm -hmm. and about, I think this is about half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Mm -hmm. For that Asian flavor. Yes, and then I have two eggs that I've scrambled already, and then I have two and a half cups of chopped cauliflower that I've already boiled in advance. So mm -hmm. basically what I did was I got like florets, um, cauliflower mm -hmm. florets, and then I boiled them in water, drained them, um, just boil it enough until it becomes nice and tender, mm. but not like not too mushy. soggy. Yeah. yeah, because you're gonna cook it twice. Eh? You're gonna yeah. um, saute it again, so you don't want it too mushy. And then after that, you just um, basically you just season the the cauliflower with a little bit of salt and mm -hmm. pepper. Yeah. So the carb cutting technique here is using cauliflower instead of rice yes. in this dish, and exactly. you will you will see that in the the sexy chef cooking show and in the sexy chef cookbook. Um, there will be many calorie cutting, carb cutting techniques such as this one. Okay, so first, are we ready to cook? Yep. Okay, we're going to season the shrimp with mm -hmm. a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Shrimp gets a bad reputation sometimes. You know, whenever people think shrimp or any of these seafoods, they think it's going to be high in cholesterol, but actually it's not. that's not true. Shrimp is very, very low in saturated fat and it's full of omega-3 fatty acids which lowers bad cholesterol and it's very low calorie as well. So it's a very good uh, lean protein source. Okay. You can include it in anything, salads, you know, and pretty much any, you know, any dish. I love shrimp pasta dishes as well. Yeah. And of course, mm -hmm. if you're allergic to shrimp, you could always just substitute it with chicken mm -hmm. or whatever meat that you want. You can even keep it vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, it's this dish is great yummy. vegetarian. Okay, so we're just waiting for this to heat up. And then we're going to throw in the shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, if you have any questions for us, don't forget you can tweet us at rappler.com and use the hashtag TheSexyChef. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, there we go. You just want to... I want to like cook the mm -hmm. shrimp first because um, I want to get the flavors of the shrimp into the pan. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, I want to be able to control the cooking time. Mm -hmm. actually of the shrimp right because it's gonna get tough and wrinkly right mm -hmm. if you don't so you just want to do it like you you cook in the beginning so you have the juices right? I think we have another the... question another mm -hmm. social oh, media okay. question all right so it says uh, this this is coming from Samantha Lim hi the sexy chef what's the best way to chop up the cauliflower so that I can get that yummy rice like texture that oh. is a chef question Okay, basically you just get, you have the cauliflower head, no? Uh -huh. And then, so you have that one head actually, one large head is actually good already for this recipe. Okay. So you just want to get like a small knife or a small paring knife and you just remove the florets mm -hmm. one by one. Okay. Okay, and then after you remove the florets, you boil it in water. Ah, until, so you don't chop it first. No, you oh, you, okay. yeah, you slice it first into florets okay. and then you after that you boil it. Ah. Okay, you boil it for a few minutes until it's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. You're just going to have to try it to see. It's just fork tender. The moment okay. that your fork you can easily insert the fork into the florets, then you're good to go. Oh, okay. Just be careful not to overcook it too much. That's right. And then that's when you Yeah, so you remove it and then you let it cool for a bit so mm -hmm. you don't Get paso, you don't burn right. yourself, and then you just chop it to make it look like rice. So, you know, like this, yeah. you know, not too small, just mm -hmm. to make it look like rice mm -hmm. grains. Right. So, yeah. is our, our shrimp cooking? It's a little windy, yeah. so our, our fire is a little iffy right now. So, we're just gonna. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. 
There you go. So, you know what? I mean, I love like cooking the shrimp beforehand because it really mm -hmm. gives a lot of flavor to the dish without adding those shrimp cubes. Right. You don't really have to use any of these things that may have contained MSG. Um, you know, those bouillon, whatever cube things that you put to flavor the food. Because in fact, if you, if you do this cooking technique that Barney is doing right now, that she's cooking the shrimp and then she'll put it aside for a little bit, you leave the juices the shrimp flavor on the pan as you as you uh, cook in the rest of the, the ingredients. So you flavor the rest of the ingredients with the shrimp juices. There you go. So as you can see, the shrimp is getting nice and um, orange. pink already. Pink, orange, pink -ish actually. Orange. Pinkish orange. Okay, actually, that's it. That's all you need. And yep. you can see already all the juices mm -hmm. in there. And then I'm going to transfer it into the pan. There you go. With all... The nice juices. I'm gonna save all the juices in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then I'm gonna just add just a little bit of mm -hmm. canola. Oh, by the way, I put canola oil in here. Right. Canola oil is a really good um, oil to use because it contains a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, it's a heart healthy oil, and it is in fact the, the oil most that we use um, the most in, in the uh, the most of our uh, more of our Asian dishes in the Sexy Chef. So you're probably wondering, what's the Sexy Chef? What are these meals that I'm talking about? You can order, um, actually, this particular dish. You can order this. It depends what month, though. Oh, yeah. Dine light. Yeah, we it have, changes monthly. We have a, uh, a 350 calorie uh, meal um, meals menu called Dine Light. And depending on the month, because we change, um, we change the, the menu monthly. So monthly, you have a different set of uh, meals. We do have a kind of like um, an originals or favorite, 10 favorite um, meals that we always have available. But the rest of the time, um, depending on the month, you can order this um, Indonesian Asian, yeah. rice from the uh -huh. Dine Light 350 calorie meals menu. Yeah. And that's just 190 pesos. Yep, super affordable. Or for a five day menu of lunch and dinner meals, it's only really 2,150 pesos. Okay, so. Okay, so while you were talking, mm -hmm. I already um, added one teaspoon of the garlic and the mm -hmm. ginger. Um, ginger is actually um, really good for you because it fights off infections. Mm -hmm. It actually it gives a lot of this nice spicy flavor to the dish. It's also anti-bloating. It also anti-bloating. So perfect. So if you're feeling bloated, have some ginger tea and it actually flattens the tummy. So there, and then I also added half a cup of carrots, chopped carrots, which is super high in fiber, and it also helps prevent colon and breast cancer. Of course, aside from the obvious, of course, but for the eyesight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then of course, I'm going to add the onions. So I'm just going to saute this until everything is nice and tender. I added one fourth cup of chopped onions. So you're just going to saute it until it's nice and translucent. I put in the carrots first because carrots take a longer time to cook. Right. Okay. And then that's when we can add the two and a half cups of cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower that I've boiled and chopped in advance. So look at it. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a fried rice already. Yeah. Yeah. So and you, you know, you're going to be surprised at um, how. I mean, this is going to this this dish will have a lot of volume. You know, it, it, it provide because these vegetables provide a lot of bulk. Yeah. So you're gonna feel like, wow, I'm gonna I'm having this huge plate of uh, fried rice. You mm -hmm. know, but actually, it's just veggies. It's mm -hmm. just veggies and some shrimp. So it's very low in it's calorie. A no guilt, right? All by the way, all of the recipes that we feature in our cooking show. Again, it's the Sexy Chef show on the Color Channel of Di of uh, Signal Digital TV. All of the recipes featured on the show, as well as the Sexy Chef cookbook, are below 400 calories. Yep. Including this one. Okay, so I added the cauliflower already, and now we're going to season it with three tablespoons of soy sauce. There we go. You can use just regular soy sauce, or if you want to get like the lower uh, sodium variety, you know, for people that are watching their sodium intake, um, you can also use. We have another question, yay. Uh, this time it is from Anthony Montero. Uh, where can I buy herbs best products besides sugar leaf? Oh, wow, okay. Um, actually, um, we know the owner. Her mm -hmm. name is Fanny. Um, yeah. Yes, 
Fanny G, Fanny yes. Ganzon. And the thing is, she's always in, you can find her in um, the Gatsby Market. She has yeah. a stall there every Sunday. Yeah, so you, you can, can get her buy. products there. And you know what? I've seen it in, in some supermarkets. Yeah, Robinson Supermarket mm -hmm. normally carries it, but sometimes it's not there. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they also have like a website. Mm -hmm. And then you can also visit their Facebook page as well. Um, where else can you find it? Echo Store. Yeah, Echo the Echo Store. Store. That's yeah. right. Yeah, she's she's available now, but but she she it's just the the products are so um, they sell out so fast because they're they're the best. It's in demand. It's, it's yeah. in, super in demand. Even to be honest with you guys, even you know the sexy chef or like she's a big supplier of ours but sometimes when i when we call her she's like i'm out of my noodles Whoa. and we're like what <laughs> <laughs> you know because everyone wants it because imagine her moringa no or moringa malungai noodles are only 20 calories yeah a serving mm -hmm. so and of course she has this product mm -hmm. that it's like a guinea mix yeah but perfect. it doesn't have um msg right and it's, so it's all perfect. natural Okay, and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of patis mm -hmm. or fish sauce. Konti lang yan, yeah, because you don't have to bit. put so much. And then we're gonna add half a tablespoon of coconut sugar mm -hmm. to give it that. Because you know, with um, Indonesian cuisine, yeah, you know, they like to combine that salty and yeah, sweet right. flavor. There we go. And then now we're going to add the scrambled eggs that we've cooked in advance. So there, look at it now. It so how really many eggs? looks like two. How, two, just two yeah, eggs. Two eggs okay. that I've scrambled. If you look at it, you really can't tell mm -hmm. that it's not um, rice that we used in mm -hmm. there. And then I'm gonna throw in the shrimp. With all of the cooked. juices. There. Okay, so there we go. So this is like a complete mm -hmm. meal mm -hmm. on its own, diba? Look at it. Yep. so filling and this it is like so good guys good for two mm -hmm. okay so you can like have half of this and yeah you're not and gonna it's like still like it's still a pretty weight. substantial serving there so we're just gonna turn off the heat mm -hmm. and then we're gonna add one fourth cup of chopped cilantro mm. okay. that's what's gonna give it that kind of clean um the clean taste okay a lot of uh cuisines use cilantro in vietnamese um, you see it a lot of like, yeah, Indonesian dishes and it really perks up the flavor mm -hmm. of the food. Kind like of it brightens. brightens it up. It yeah. gives it that fresh um, uh, flavor. But if you don't have cilantro, you could always use parsley mm -hmm. or just leave it out if you don't have it. But I like cilantro because it's also, also antibacterial. Oh. So it helps fight infections like salmonella. Oh, it, great. It fights that. Um, it's also anti-bloating. So mm. if you have gas, <laughs> feeling gassy you know you could always you um have mm. some cilantro and it also helps prevent bad, bad breath. breath nice perfect so you can eat this on a date apparently and you're it not gonna make feel you fart it won't, <laughs> it's like you won't be gassy okay. and you'll have fresh and breath and you have fresh breath wow, imagine perfect. that okay. an, all, an all around deodorizer yep yep so okay. we're gonna plate so, that okay i'll just okay. put this all away there. It may look like I'm not doing anything here, guys, but I'm here for more moral support. When I said assistant, it really means support. And um, yeah, but I believe it or not, I am cooking in the cooking show. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, I did a, some of the cooking on the Sexy Chef show uh, that, again, you can watch every Sunday at 8 p.m. on the Color Channel of um, Signal Digital TV for those of you who are subscribed to Signal. So I'm just gonna clean this up yep. a bit for presentation. Mm -hmm. There we go. There. So yeah, look at this. Yup. And then you know what? If you're not ready to go mm -hmm. all cauliflower, yeah, <laughs> you could always just do half and half. Yeah, you can do a, maybe a little bit of brown rice, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. You can put in brown rice or even white rice because you already put the fiber mm -hmm. of the cauliflower in there. That's so right. you can do like two cups of like cauliflower, and then you can do half a cup of white rice. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you how you want to divide it. And it's it. still gonna be a low carb meal. Yep. Because a cup of rice can be can have as much as two hundred calories and already. Already, exactly. So So there you go. Wow. The Indonesian that. fried Kali rice that's not gonna give you that muffin, muffin top. top. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, alrighty. Woohoo! So let's recap. Okay. The ingredients. I hope I remember all the ingredients here. Okay, okay so I had about Two and a half cups of cauliflower. I had 12 um, pieces of shrimp that I mm -hmm. put in there. One fourth cup of cilantro. 
um, three tablespoons of um, soy sauce, and I had about, what else, mm -hmm. um, half a teaspoon of fish sauce, and um, half a tablespoon of coconut sugar. So as you can see, we, we actually didn't fry anything here. We don't use a lot of oil. Everything is like a stir fry. Yeah. And we always use heart healthy oils, like in this case, canola oil. So we're gonna continue on to our next dish. Okay. So the next recipe is called the tofu egg tea sandwiches. Yep. And this is super easy to make. Even the kids can help you make them. This is a good, what you call a healthy baon. Yes. In the morning, since um, you know, it will cut the, the cooking time. Because sometimes you wanna you wanna do like an egg salad sandwich for the kids sometimes, mm -hmm. right? But then you're gonna have to boil the eggs. You're gonna have to peel the eggs. In and then this you're case, chop the eggs fast. So that's right. It takes so, a lot of time. Right. So tofu actually this tofu replaces the eggs in this recipe. Yes. And what you're going to want to use is the firm kind of tofu. There, you're going to see different types of tofu in the supermarket. There are the ones that are called silken. Yeah, we don't, that's yeah, don't not get the, one, the silken okay, one. Okay, because that's too, that's going to be too watery and too soft. You're going to want something firm that's going to mimic the texture of uh, the of eggs, eggs, of crumbled eggs. Yep. So B, we're, show them how to, uh, to do the Oh, how the water we would press it. Yeah, Actually, press. in order to um, get the tofu to be less watery, you, pr you have to press it first. Mm -hmm. So um, this is like one block or 300 grams of firm tofu. Mm -hmm. So I put it on a plate. Okay, so you rinsed it first and then you drained it. And then you put it, you put another plate mm -hmm. on top of it. And then you put something heavy. heavy. Maybe like a sexy a, a chef bulk, cookbook yeah, or something. Yeah, and another book because it should be around two pounds, two to three pounds. So I could right. really press into it. Or you can put like a heavy pot mm -hmm. and then you just leave it for 20 minutes. And then you'll see that all there's the water. water comes out. Yeah. So when it's like this, all you have to do is get it and mm -hmm. then go over a sink and then just Tip toss the water out yeah and yeah. then you end up with pressed tofu such as this mm -hmm. so this okay. has been pressed already yes. so now let me um, explain all the ingredients the, the, yeah. okay so over here I have about four slices you can use four to eight slices of um, wheat bread whole wheat bread mm -hmm. we like wheat, whole wheat bread because well because it has more fiber has more vitamins yeah, and it just mm -hmm. um, keeps you satiated mm -hmm. for a longer period of time That's as well. Right. So and this it is sweeps out, it sweeps out bad toxins from the body. Mm -hmm. So you've so already cut yeah, out the cut crust. Cut out the crust, but remember, don't throw away anything. Don't waste food. You can just set aside the crust and use it as breadcrumbs. You could blend it, mm -hmm. and you can use it as breadcrumbs for your burgers or meatballs. So That's right. there you go. So we have four slices of bread. We have one fourth cup of chopped onion. We have one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Mm -hmm and about one four teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of prepared um, yellow mustard, mm -hmm. and then half a cup of chopped celery, and one third cup of Parmesan cheese, and one third cup of reduced fat mayo. Yeah. There we go. And then mayo the, is, uh, the, the it's, you're gonna think the mayo is like a fat, is fattening, it's high in fat, but actually we're very, using very, very little for a big amount. Okay, yeah. so there's actually not going to be a lot of mayo in each serving of uh, this tofu egg salad. Okay. Okay. So the first step is to crumble the tofu. Okay, so I'm just going to wear gloves mm -hmm. here. Okay, Rach, can you just mm -hmm. transfer it into the bowl? There you go. Okay, so you don't need to boil the tofu. This is a no-cook recipe, mm -hmm. so it's super, super easy to make. So there. So now we're just going to mash it or crumble it with our fingers. You can also use a large fork to do this. You mm -hmm. can mash it. So, you know, if you want to get your kids um, to eat healthy food, you can actually ask them to help you mm -hmm. make this recipe. And That's trust right. me, the kids like to mash things. Oh, you yeah. Know? So there you go. So tofu is a great um, alternative protein source because it, in, in fact, it con contains um, complete ami amino acids. It's just that the difference between eating tofu and beef is that you're going to have to eat a little bit more tofu than you would beef to, say, to get the same amount of proteins in terms of grams. Mm. So, you know, it's a good way to add protein to your diet without adding a lot of fat. And it's and very calories. inexpensive, like mm -hmm. compared to buying beef or like right. chicken, you know, you can get all your protein um, without spending too much. Mm -hmm. So there, so I've crumbled the tofu and then I'm going to add the mayonnaise. So 
There you go. You can also use regular mayonnaise if you don't have reduced fat because mm -hmm. this recipe is like good for like six to eight people. Yep. So you divide that one third mm -hmm. of um, right um, mayonnaise. Okay. Okay, and so then once, we're going. Yeah. So once you like mix I can it do all that. there. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add half a cup of celery. I can do your mixture. Okay. There. At least I have. Uh, did I'm you actually doing something. Um, celery is like a negative mm -hmm. calorie food. Right. So it actually takes more calories to burn the mm -hmm. celery that you ate. Oh, there. There's another um, oh, social, media social media question. Media. Oh, okay. it says um, from Jenny Velasco Chua, how can you make tof tofu more flavorful? Well, definitely, like the method that I showed mm -hmm. you, it's better to like extract all the liquid from the tofu, and then you can marinate it. Mm -hmm. Like you also, can, yeah, yeah, if you want, you like, like, so, a, like so, soy sauce, soy sauce, or... sesame oil, and mm -hmm. then, but you know, you have to leave it in the ref, mm -hmm. like maybe, uh, maybe for an hour to like overnight, so right. that the tofu can really, um, yeah, absorb right. all the flavors. Like in one of the dishes we make, the tofu satay, mm -hmm. you marinate that. So yeah, what's our next it. one? Okay, so then we add. One third cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Cheese is great because it contains this Parmesan cheese contains very little fat and calories. Yeah, and it has a, a lot of calcium and mm -hmm. vitamin D also. And then one fourth cup of chopped onion. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add the the black pepper, one eight teaspoon, the one four teaspoon of salt. So just very little salt because mm -hmm. the Parmesan cheeses are very oh, salty, already salty already. Yeah, that's right. And then you can add the the mustard, one and a half teaspoon of mustard. Mm -hmm. The mustard gives it that tangy flavor, mm -hmm. and, and it also, also it has like a natural yellow color, so it really will look like an egg salad. Yeah, that's what provides this kind of like yellow thing. Okay. okay so while you're mixing that, why don't I put this aside? Mm -hmm. Continue mixing that. I'm going to slice this into triangles. Okay. So there we go. I'm just gonna slice it first, like so. There. All right. Okay. And then we're just going to spread it. Nice. There. Okay, let me just. So it really depends how big you want it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can even like slice it even a little smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's perfect for kids. Yeah, you know, it's like so bite size practically. Yeah. So there you go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spread on. Next one. There, and then we can just slice that. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Instant and baon in a flash. With you don't need, you didn't even have to cook mm -hmm. anything. Yep. So let's recap the the ingredients for the tofu egg salad tea sandwiches. Okay. So I used um, wheat bread, whole wheat bread, mm -hmm. about six to eight slices. Mm -hmm. I had one fourth cup of chopped onion, one eight teaspoon of black pepper. I added um, one fourth teaspoon of salt. One third cup of mayonnaise, one third cup of Parmesan cheese, and half a cup of chopped celery. All right, and that's it. Okay, thank you so much for joining us uh, on Rappler.com. Again, we're the Sexy Chef, and if you'd like a copy of these recipes, just, um, well, you can get your own copy of the Sexy Chef Cookbook available at National Bookstore and on our website, www.thesexychef.ph. You can also get our diet programs and our healthy meals delivered all over Metro Manila. And of course, don't forget to watch our cooking show. Tell them yes. about it, Barney. Um, of course, the Sexy Chef Cooking Show on the Colors Channel. Um, you can expect a brand new episode every Sunday at 8 p.m. On Signal Digital TV. Thank you so much. Thank you.